Hello everyone, this is Pastor Michael Jeanette again. I um, want to give you a quick recap of where we've been and then explain all of this that's going on behind me here. We started our series with this notion that Christ dwells within each of us. Uh, that is the support of our healthy giving, uh, our healthy financial giving. And from that starting point, we see that we have an abundance of gifts, including finances. Now, God gives to us, and then we give in return to churches and nonprofits and other groups in our community, but also to consumer goods and services. So we have quite the journey here before us. Now, our vision here is to uh, is summed up in the phrase up, in, and out, which guides our receiving and our giving. We walk with God. We support one another as we discover the paths God has for us and we discover our gifts and we welcome and accept all people. Now your financial gifts help to facilitate all of these ministries that we provide. So the next question in healthy giving is this, um, how much is considered healthy giving? Well, we'll get to it here. So uh, what are we asking for? Well, there's really three ways that I think you can look at uh, your own increase in your current giving. So for our first example, we're going to look at what giving looks like as a percentage of one's income or a household income. For this example, uh, we're going to look at a household that brings in or receives $35,000 in income. Now that might be through a job, it might be through uh, pension benefits, it might, there's all different kinds of ways to receive income. So let's just say on an annual basis, this household receives $35,000. We're gonna look at how to calculate the percentage and then to, uh, to increase that percentage by 1%. So currently, this household receives $35,000 and they give at the level of $1,750. That's how much they say they gave last year. So you take the amount they gave, $1,750, divided by the annual income of $35,000, and for this household, that looks like 5%. So our challenge in the healthy giving situation is to increase that by 1% based on salary. So take that salary again of 35,000, multiply it times 0.06, which is that increase of 1% to give you a total, a total annual giving of $2,100. That would be the new goal. So what does that look like over a year? Well, that would be actually an increase of $3,500, okay? That increase might also look like an extra $29 a month, or you might say on a weekly basis, it's giving an additional $7 a week. So these numbers down here show you the increase over the prior year. So from $1,750 to now $2,100. And that's based on a 1% increase of the household income of $35,000. So on a weekly basis, it comes down to just $7. And that's a fast food meal, easy for this town. Um, but now I wanna give you another option. So this other option is based on um, what is the increase in spending at the congregational level. So this is gonna be based, uh, this is an increase based on uh, your prior year giving but also based on the increase in the expenses in the congregation. So in this congregation from 2018 to 2019, we increased our budget by 7.6%. That includes all expenses, all staff salaries, all ministries, um, including mission support. So we increased our expenditures by 7.6%. What would it look like if every household increased their giving by that same percentage. That would give us uh, an in income that matched our expenses by an increase of a percentage. Well, again, in this case, in our congregation, we increased our expenses by 7.6%. So if you took your last year's giving amount, in this case, $1,750, and multiply that, that number times 7.6%, that would be an increase of $133 just for that household. So again, you break that down annually, it's an increase of $133. Monthly, it's only an increase of $11, or weekly, it's an increase of $3. So as our congregation grows, and we develop new ministries, and we expand our staff to help support the ministries, this household, that increase in giving helps to match the expenses increase of the congregation. So it's another way to look at solving this uh, issue of healthy giving. So you can increase by your giving by 1% based on your income, 
you can also choose to look at your prior year giving and increasing that by the same percentage increase in the congregational expenses. Now, those are just two options. You look at all this and if this is too much or overwhelming, there's a much simpler way to do this and simply say, increase giving by a set amount. Say you gave 1750 last year, maybe you want to strive for 1850 or 2000 or just some number that's simple for you. The point isn't to make this complicated for you. The point is healthy giving is, in, is uh, increases in giving is, is healthy giving. Um, now, that you may be in a household situation where you have extra medical bills, you have other things coming up, we understand that. So please don't feel this as uh, a guilt trip. This is simply a matter of how do we help increase to the support of the ministries that we have here. Um, now, if you need help figuring this out, again, it's overwhelming and you wanna strive for some of these options, but you just can't do it, let us know, we'd be happy to sit down with you and walk you through it all. Again, um, we appreciate your generosity. Um, this is just tools to help you wrap your head around um, what is healthy giving and practically what does that look like. We've talked a lot of spiritual things, we've talked about relationships, but now this is sort of the nitty gritty. This is the nuts and bolts of, well, how much do I want to give? Um, and then the next video we're gonna do is gonna explain options on how to give. There are ways that you can give that are more than just beyond Sunday morning in the offering plate. Uh, that is obviously, uh, historically, our, our regular way of giving. But as you'll see next week, um, giving online is another option for you. So if you have questions, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, but thank you for your giving. Thank you for your generosity that makes this congregation, um, that helps this congregation in its uh, ministry impact in this community. Uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.